Hey guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to model container building. But before I do, if you're new here, kindly subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos like this. Happy New Year guys. Welcome to year 2022. This year is definitely going to be awesome. Now let's get started. So first, we're going to use slab and draw the shape of the building. Which is more like the concept of the building okay so i'm trying to impute the measurement of the container the length the breadth and the height i'm going to use uh, the medium size okay now let's copy and paste on the second story and then we rotate make sure you uh, you've turned on your trace reference so that you can always refer to the ground floor Now let's see what it looks like in the 3D. We're going to work on the levels. Now this is it. This is just how it's going to look like at the end of the day and not looking bad. Now let's get started with the walls. So we're going to use just the thickness of 100 and the same height. And use our magic wand too since the shape is there. By holding down your shift, make sure the wall is activated and then click the outline. So we can always delete the slab that we've created before. Let's place our windows. So we're going to place our big windows. We're using big windows using the vertical multiple search. We're going to use the vertical multiple search because we want, want to have at least three different searches so that we can, we can control each individually. Okay, so that's the essence of using that type of window. I'm going to try to push the height, the seal height, total height, the width. Okay, and then we adjust the, the lower search, middle search to our satisfaction. Let's place and see what it looks like. We don't need the marker. Let's turn off the marker. Okay, let's see. Please. So let's create an opening in the middle search, which is search two. Okay, now that's fine. So we just, just just going to change the materials, change it to black, something black, change the mullion, and I think this is beautiful. Let's make the window transparent. Turn on the transparency and that's fine. Okay. You go ahead and place your door.
So we're going to place windows at the top. The same windows. So we're going to adjust the level to accommodate slab, which is slab is going to be 150. And that's it, that's it. Let's copy the slab and paste so we can create a top. Container building is looking fine. The next thing is to cover it with the red wall by using card image. If you don't have card image, go to the description below and download card image. So you select the type of covering you want, which is red. Change the face, change the color, and that's fine. So you just offset a little bit by the side of the wall, and that's fine. It's as easy as that. Very simple. You don't need to create anything. Card image has made it very easy for us. So what I'm going to do now is just change outline to something black or darker. Do the same thing at the top, select the wall, go to card image, covering, wall covering, and then, then you say OK and repeat the same operation. Let's change the door to a single door. So we are going to create the post, corner post. This lab.
So now let's create the rail. The rail along the edges of the container. We are going to create a mode using Profile Manager. We must be familiar with this. For those that have been following this channel, you must be familiar with this. If you've not subscribed at this moment, kindly hit the subscribe button, like, and share to your friends. So we are going to draw the way right now along the edges. We're using slab, slab tool after changing it to poop. Complex Let's change the outline of your wheel. Looks like it's quite big. Just need to adjust it a little bit and shift it back to the to your region. Now it's time to create something very tricky, which is called the corner fittings. So we are. and beam to create this corner fittings. There is always a hole in between the corner fittings on all faces. So that's what the beam is for. We're going to use it to create the holes. So before we do, we convert that to make sure the slab has been converted to morph.
Then after the operation, you just hide it to a layer. And that's it right there. The holes has been created. So you just convert to morph again and then make a copy of it. So you can see the holes are still there. That's because we converted to morph again. So we're going to change it to object so that just in case we want to increase the length and breadth of of it so just make it an object so that we can use it over again if we intend to use it again important you have the details your models when modeling I'm not going to bore you with copying and pasting of the corner fittings I'm just going to cut this part of it so you just copy and paste on all corners At the same time, also copy and paste the post on all corners. So I'm trying to fast forward this process because it's just time wasting. Let's work on our slab and try to add railings. As you can see, our railings is showing on the ground floor. Just go to the settings and select home only. So I'm trying to create the base, slab for the base, the ground floor slab. Looks like this concept is going to be changed because I don't like the idea of how short the base looks. So we're going to shift the top container. Everything is messed up, but we are still going to work on it. I won't bore you with all the adjustment processes, so I'm going to cut it. So 
speed up Now that's fine so going back to our ground floor turn on the trace so that we can see the top floor and then increase our slab length and that's pretty The railings is still going to use T wave. Go to the setting and customize what you have to customize. Delete what you have to delete. So whatever you want to adjust just select just pick it to change to green and change the settings to what you desire So we are going to create the support make sure you change the option with the column so that we can create a slanted column That's what I wanted. So let's create our terrain using mesh. I'm going to create a topography line using spline. 
So just create the shape you want. Those plans will help us get the, the slope. You're trying to create the topography so all you need to do make sure you, your mesh is selected as you can see the nodes are still quite big so we are just trying to change it from the magic one to settings Select the mesh, hold down your spacebar and click the line. Make sure when you input your figures, you check apply to all so that it will affect all nodes. Looks like our topography is too steep. We are just going to try to, we want something very gentle. Go back to the plan and adjust it. So if you want to adjust, you just click on each node to select everything. So we want to create support of our slab, our ground floor slab. We just created a story below so that we can copy our support under 
on the ground floor slab since it's below ground level I'm going to add some objects to give it life. I won't bore you with that. I will add a rail. I will add a step. With steel stringers. So this draws us close to our tutorial. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.